What's good, YouTube? It's your man Rage King back with another one. Yes, another upload to the channel. And before we get started, ask if you please get on there, hit that like button, hit that sub button, hit that share button, and hit that bell for notifications if you're new. Welcome to Rebel Rage TV. This is how we do Rage and Rebels. Crown up. And if you're new to the crew, welcome to the Rage and Rebel Revolution. Now let's vibe. And y'all, in this video, as you see right here on your screen, I'm going to be giving my thoughts on the bad system in NBA 2K22 current gen. Now, let's speak on it. Now, before we even get into it, I can already hear the trolls right now coming. Oh, I thought you weren't playing this game anymore. Dad. Am I not allowed to give my critique of anything on top of giving credit where credit is due? My message has never changed about 2K. I will give my I will give credit where credit is due, and I'm going to also give criticism. Now, I get, I get it. I understand it. I may be a lot more eccentric given my criticisms than a lot of people, but that's just me. That's how I do it. You don't like it, don't click on the video. Because I'm going to tell you right now, trolls, every click you give me is more money in my pocket. I'm just letting you know that right now. So, while you're coming here trying to hate, you just put more money in my pocket, whether you leave a comment, whether you watch for a second or not, rage can't get paid. It don't matter me. It don't matter me no regardless. For the people that want to be here and hear some good content, I appreciate you, and I'm going to continue to appreciate you going forward. Now, having said all that, let's get into it. Now, when I look at the finishing badges, I like all the finishing badges. I really do. Uh, the new finishing badges, uh, especially like Limitless Takeoff, I like a lot. Unstrippable, I like a lot. Mouse in the House and Rise Up, I like a lot. Uh, however, I will say this about the Fast Twitch badge, and I'm going to kind of throw Mouse in the House and Rise Up to go with that too. For the simple fact that when it comes to the Fast Twitch badge, I think that that's something that the game, in 2021 anyway, that the game should automatically know what the situation is you understand what i'm saying if i got somebody coming behind me don't give me the slowest animations possible i don't know why you would put nba and slow even in the same sentence like it just doesn't make any sense you understand what i'm saying now if they didn't put it in the game automatically i do understand why they put fast twitch in the game i just personally think and this is just my opinion i personally think that they should have went ahead and just put that in the game already uh have faster animations in the game already instead of making it feel like you're you're, you're going up super slow or you're going up in slow motion when you just can throw this badge on again i get it i understand it i even like the badge i just kind of think that's one of those badges kind of like quick release and in, in, in nba 2k20 it's kind of one of those badges that don't really need to be there but i understand why they put it there moving forward uh, I like the shooting badges. I like the new shooting badges, especially like blinders. I like that a lot because it makes a lot of sense. The chef badge and the circus threes badge. I like those a lot too because you honestly see those in real NBA games. Thanks to guys like James Harden with the step backs and thanks to, you know, Chef Curry himself, Steph Curry, you know, the greatest three point shooter of all time. You understand what I'm saying? Um, I like the lucky number seven badge. I think that makes a lot of sense uh, for people that like to get out and transition and throw the ball and, you know, shoot the ball when they open. I like that badge a lot. I'm one of those people that likes to get out and transition myself, whether it be a big man getting a rebound and getting into the open man quick, or whether it be just be playing on the wing and getting open myself in transition. I think that's one of the best times to score before the defense can get back and get set. And I like this badge a lot. I think it makes a lot of sense. The mismatch expert badge, I think that's an excellent badge to put in this game because it makes a lot of sense to receive less of a penalty when shooting over taller defenders. I think it makes a lot of sense. Uh, and I just think that is it's one of those badges that should have, you know, I'm not going to say it should have been in the game, but it's one of those badges I'm glad to see this finally in the game because I think it's long overdue. Um, I will say this about the sniper badge. My only problem with the sniper badge is, is that it exaggerates the impact on poor timing. So basically, when you shoot a green, it's going to make sure it's green. You understand what I'm saying? When you when you when you got good timing, it's gonna, okay, now you really got good timing. Now you can, you know what I'm saying? You can pretty much make any shot on court as long as you got good timing. However, I will say this. I don't think that any badge you grind for should be penalizing you for anything. You understand what I'm saying? Like, don't, don't have a badge where you have people grind and then just because they off by a little, a half, of, by a millisecond, now it makes it seem like they were off by a whole second. You understand what I'm saying? Like, you shouldn't be punished for having a certain badge when you understand what i'm saying when you grind it for it i believe that badges should only help you not hurt you you understand what i'm saying the way i would fix the sniper badge and it's not even it's not even something major i would fix a sniper badge and make it you know more likely to hit a shot when open you understand what i'm saying like when you're wide open you're more likely to hit a shot 
and it just makes a lot to me it just makes a lot of shot for my, it just makes a lot of sense when with, with my call of duty players out there especially the, the snipers out there not the quick scopers but the actual snipers could you agree that it's easier to hit a target when you have a good clean shot versus just trying to time a shot when someone has a, a minimum window you understand what i'm saying we have a minimum window to get that shot off you understand so you got to get it off before this person hits around the corner that isn't it easier to hit a shot when you have a, a good clean target you understand what i'm saying versus trying to you know get a target that squeezed in between two walls and now you're not sure about the shot in my opinion when i use the sniper rifles in call of duty that's what works for me and i'm only saying that to say this i make the comparison to say this when you have a sniper on the basketball court and think about it, even with the nba analyst when they say guys like clay thompson guys like uh and JJ Reddick before he retired. You understand? Guys like Kyle Corbin. You understand what I'm saying? Guys that can really shoot the rock. Kevin Durant. You know, Kyrie Irving. James Harden. Guys that can really shoot the rock. Damian Lillard. Guys that can, when they say they're a sniper from long range, they don't say, oh, well, uh, uh, you know, his, his timing's a little bit off. So it's not, no, when they say he's a sniper from mid range, they're like, no. You got to cover him and make sure somebody's on him because if you leave him open, he's going to hit that shot. That's the only thing I would change about the sniper badge. I'm glad that it's in the game. I just think that it means the wrong thing. You understand what I'm saying? When you, I believe that when you're open, you should hit more shots. That badge right there is the sniper badge should be what that means. But that's just my opinion. Moving on. Playmaking badge. I like the playmaking badge. Uh, I like the playmaking badges this year. I like hyperdrive, special delivery. I think that's Ali Uper. Remind me in the comment section what that badge was. I think that's the same badge, just with a different name in other previous games. We have more success throwing Ali U passes. Uh, the two I like the most in here and the playmaking badges are bullet passer and glue hands. I've been begging for glue hands. Uh, some kind of badge or some kind of attribute stat to where you have a better chance of catching the ball when you get in difficult situations where it's going to be harder for a normal human being to catch the ball. You understand what I'm saying? Not everybody in the basketball court is going to be Randy Moss catching the ball over three, four defenders. That's just not going to happen. Not all the time. However, to decipher the difference with that, add in a badge or add in an attribute. And I'm glad they made it a badge instead of an attribute because now you just got to put in the grind time uh, versus, you know, actually spending VC. But that just depends on how people look at it. Me, me personally, I'm a, I'm a grinder. You understand what I'm saying? I would much rather play the game and grind it than spend extra money on the game that I've already bought. But that's just me, you know, different strokes for different folks. Uh, bullet passer. Uh, I understand why they put this in the game. I'm of the mindset that the game should recognize, you know, how fast the pass should go or not. But this right here, this badge right here, absolutely make sure, absolutely make sure that that happens whether you're going to have a slow pass or a good pass. And honestly, I think it makes defense matter that much more, especially in the passing lanes, because if you throw on a slow pass, if you're not known for somebody that throws hard passes when they need to, it's going to get stolen in the NBA. That's realistic. That's what happens. You see guys in the passing lanes all the time because somebody threw a lazy pass. You understand what I'm saying? So with this bullet passer badge, I like it a lot. Um, it's growing on me a lot. Um, I thought, you know, fast pass should already be in the game, but this makes sure that uh, the uh, bullet passes shows the difference between people who throw soft passes and people, you know, people who throw lazy passes and people who obviously throw harder passes. I think it makes a lot of sense, and I'm glad that it's in the game. Uh, quick chain I like a lot too as well. Moving on lastly to the defensive badge. Um, I like all the defensive badges and everything like that. The one I like the most is this one right here, the Menace Badge. I absolutely adore this badge. You understand what I'm saying? Because it makes all the sense in the world. I think this is one of those other badges that's been long overdue, especially when you compare it and put it with things like Interceptor and Intimidator and Clamps uh, on top of ankle braces. You understand what I'm saying? It, it, you know, all different kind of things you can do with this Menace Badge right here. You see guys like Pat Beverly, you know, become an absolute, dare I say, menace, you know, against opposing, uh, against opposing, uh, against opposing offensive players. Offensive players hate going up against this guy because he's such a pest, like he just won't stop. He's always there. It's not just like tireless defender. He's also a tireless defender, yeah, but when you're a menace, you just you just make people absolutely hate having the ball, especially when you're guarding him. And I think it makes all the sense in the world. And I think that 2K did a great job putting the menace badge in this game. And I think that it's long overdue. And I think that it's a good badge. I really do like it. I really do like it. Now, I will say this about the whole, uh, the whole badge system thing. Badges are fine as long as they're not overpowered. It's okay for them to be good. It's okay to be a good badge. You understand what I'm saying? But they should not be overpowered. You understand what I'm saying? Now, if you can find a balance with the badges and the gameplay, then you have something. Then the badge system is going to be one of the greatest things in the world. 
However, because it because it really do it really does show you the difference between a good player and a great player. You understand what I'm saying? Versus the guy that put in time with his player and got the time with his player, versus people who's just thinking they're just gonna pay some VC and then get on the court and then do whatever. You understand what I'm saying? No, you have badges to decipher the good from the great. You know the okay from the good. You understand what I'm saying? It gives, in my opinion, badges or 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 2K's way of trying to. Uh, make a skill gap to show that skill gap. You understand what I'm saying? And I think it's I think it's a damn good step in the right direction. I really do. But that's just my opinion. Y'all let me know down in the comment section what y'all think about the bad system in NBA 2K22 current gen. Do you like it? Do you dislike it? What are your favorite badges? You understand what I'm saying? Uh, as long as you're my respectful and logical, we can have a conversation. But that's gonna be the end of my video. I hope y'all enjoyed. It's been a pleasure making it for you. My name is Rage King. I am out and I'll be back later on with more videos, more commentary, and more good content. Now hashtag that enough says see y'all later. Thank you.